The name Abdul Rashid Mena is probably the most trending name in the media today. The bearer neither won a Nobel Prize nor broke the Guinness Book of Record. Rather, it was as a result of his reinstatement into the civil service why he was on the wanted list of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Mena, who had been at large since 2013 when he was declared wanted by the EFCC over his suspected involvement in a two billion naira pension scam, suddenly resurfaced recently with his redeployment to the Ministry of Interior as Director, Human Resources Department. Prior to his redeployment, the former chairman of the Presidential Tax Force was an assistant director sat by the past administration over his disappearance and refusal to make himself available for trial. Despite efforts by the National Assembly to get him appear before the Pope panel investigating the scandal then, Mena absconded from the country to the United Arab Emirates to evade arrest and prosecution, forcing the EFCC to place him on the Interpol list of wanted people. However, his reinstatement and promotion in the civil service attracted public opera, which made President Muhammad Buhari to order his immediate dismissal from the service. Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, SEN, his counterpart in the Ministry of Interior, Lieutenant General Abdul Rahman Dambazu, and the head of civil service of the Federation, Oyo Ita. We are fingered in the embattled director's promotion and reinstatement. The National Assembly has described the scandal as a national embarrassment and decided to set up an ad hoc committee to look into it. As a member of the APC, it's a sad moment. We cannot be saying we want to fight corruption. And then we allow this kind of, the more you look, the less you see. Many Nigerians aligned with the submissions of the National Assembly on the issue. An analyst, Mr. Odunlade Adeshola, however, emphasized that the matter must go beyond the ordering of full-scale investigation as done by the lawmakers, but the outcome of such investigation must not be swept under the carpet. My issue is this. If the president has sacked what has the president done about the people that did the reinstatement? Another analyst, Mr. Olaguju Oke, blamed security operatives for shaking in their responsibilities. What, what are the work of the Nigeria security forces, DSS? What are, what are their work? Immigration. I think before you can leave there in Nigeria, I think he's supposed to pass through the border. A legal practitioner, Mr. Soji Oladeji, described the development as an abuse of the country's legal system and tantamount to putting the cards before the horse. The allegation before him, so it's a criminal offense. Many believed that the outcome of Abdul Rashid Mena's case is a litmus test that could make or mar the present administration's anti corruption crusade. Oluchi Amuja, OSBC News.